Hello, fellow captains. Greetings. I am your host, Brent Justice. Welcome to my gaming channel, Justice Gaming, and welcome to Star Trek Online's 12th anniversary. 12 years of Star Trek Online. I have previously made a news post video giving you updates on the latest news for Star Trek Online and what has come with this 12th anniversary update, plus the quote season we are in which is called shadows advance this is part of the terran empire storyline and in fact that's what we're going to do today is play the brand new mission i also have an introductory video to the 12th anniversary that kind of goes over uh, everything that you can do with the 12th anniversary and the new terran empire mission and tfo how to access it and what there is to do with this new quote season that is out. They call these season updates. Uh, this one's not very large, but lately they haven't been very big. But this one is kind of combined because we have the 12th anniversary plus the new Terran Empire stuff in addition. And I've already gone over what all that entails. So today's video is all about playing the new mission in Star Trek Online that is part of the Terran Gambit storyline. This mission is called Red Shift. So I'm quite looking forward to playing this. Admiral Janeway is back, voiced by Kate Mulgrew. Very, very awesome to have her voicing the original character. And that is going to be really, really cool. Have a lot of noise and stuff going on right now. Things are exploding. Wonderful day. So I am playing on my main character, the Doctor. He is a science character, so just keep in mind I've got sciency based powers and I currently have kind of a temporal or time travel theme going on with this science character. That means a bunch of temporal operative abilities and so forth and temporal um, abilities with my kit powers and so forth. In addition, I am flying the Vern Temporal Science Vessel T6X all decked out with the temporal operative initiative, defense initiative stuff. So again, time travel -y, theme based science character. Let's get into the new mission. Here we go. Redshift, hail. There's been an incident at Jupiter Station. Admiral Janeway is leading the relief operations there and has asked for backup. I'd like you to join the Admiral at Jupiter Station and provide any assistance she might require. Be prepared. If the Terrans are bold enough to strike at the very heart of the Federation, they must be up to something big. Wow. Terran Exocomp Kit Reward. That's cool. Daily event progress. We've already been over that expertise points. But yes, this Ter Terran Exocomp Kit. That sounds cool. Jupiter Station. Let's see. Go to Sol System Jupiter Orbit. I don't know where that's at <laughs> because we've never been to Jupiter. We've never been to the Jupiter station in this game. It hasn't really existed until now in the game. So that should be interesting. I don't even know where it's at or how to get there. I mean, it's in the same solar system. So I guess we don't go to sector space. I guess we do go to sector space. I mean, I don't know how to access it. Technically, it should be from this point. We should just travel from Earth out to Jupiter, right? Doesn't take that long to get there in, you know, the 25th century. <laughs> but, okay, I guess we actually have to go out to the Sol system to, to get back to Jupiter. And so let's swing back around. Enter Sol system, but that's not what I want. I want, here we go, begin redshift. Like I said, haven't played the mission. It's the first time for me playing it, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Good to see you again. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. The Terrans hit us pretty hard today. Several of our ships are in trouble. See what you can do to help out. Ooh. We'll talk more once we have everyone out of harm's way. Understood. Commencing rescue operations. I have to say it. Sounds just like her. And it is her, Kate Mulgrew. There you go. I'm not sure about the visuals here. Um, I mean, I can see where they're going with it. I can see it. I can see that it's her. Uh, it looks a little off, though, visually speaking. But anyway, that's a minor, teams you could spare, minor nitpick. Welcome. 
Oh, this is so cool. And here's, look how huge Jupiter is. I love how they make it look big. Because it is big. This is amazing. Away teams received. You know, being this close. Oh, yeah. So we do have uh, the new the model here. Power. Any engineering support would be helpful. Yeah, so we've got some updated... Oh, I'm flying right past. We've got some updated models. Thanks. We'll get your people back to you as soon as we have things under control. This is Chief Engineer Jarrett of the Akron. We're out of time. Our warp core is going critical, and we can't eject it. We need to evacuate now. Evacuate as many people as possible from the Akron before their warp core breaches. Well, I'm going as fast as I can. There's two more groups to beam out. I'll buy you as much time as I can. The last of us are ready for transport. Hurry, the core's about to breach. I got them all. That's everyone. Get to a safe distance. Well, that exploded. The Ooh, look at that. Going to miss her and her captain. Beat up pretty bad. Losing the Akron wasn't easy to watch, but you saved the survivors on board. That's what matters the most. Well done. Of course. This situation is getting complicated. And officers like you can help me get to the bottom of things. Let's meet on Voyager to go over this in person. Understood, Helm. Take us in a transporter range from Voyager. Oh, Voyager's here. Where? Where be Voyager? Oh, there it is. I wanted to get a look at Jupiter Station, though, before we beamed over. Because we've seen it in the in Voyager the series, but you know, uh, looking at it up close, it's very cool design. I mean, it makes sense, right? Take a whole bunch of saucers, put them together, and make a station. Why not? Granted. I'll meet you in the transporter room. So a little cinematic. As we Welcome beam on aboard. to Voyager There's herself. A lot to discuss and very little time to do so. And here we are. Walk with me. I'll get you up to speed on the way to the conference room. So she is a ad so far. Admiral Janeway. She's on her old the ship again. Warped into the Sol system unchallenged. Somehow, they managed to bypass all of our security measures. Her mouth's not moving. Wish it were moving. I guess I have to go to the bridge. You saw what they did to the ships near the station. Once they dealt with those ships, they raided the station itself. Their objective was unusual, even for Terrans. Oh, Terran, um... <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Right. Lita. Let's get down to business. Terran Lita. I forgot she was here. Remember, we played the last mission which led up to this, which was called Firewall. So uh, check that mission out if you haven't played this one yet, because that'll explain why Mirror Lita is here. We believe this attack is related to an earlier incident involving the Terrans in the Izar system. They raided a secret research station there and stole a large amount of classified data. While that data was eventually recovered, Starfleet Intelligence believes the Terrans found what they were looking for beforehand, and it led them here to Jupiter State. But again, what are they looking for? Oh, remember, didn't we in the end of Firewall, didn't it, didn't it end by us finding out that the big bad was our self? It was a mirror version of our self? I had forgotten that until just now. So I thought it would pick up from there, but this mission is not picking up from there. Okay. But I still wonder what they were looking for. I'm bringing in a consultant to assist with this briefing. Okay, now her mouth Someone is moving. Someone with first-hand experience in the, the cinematic at Jupiter Station. <laughs> You're going to love this. Is it me? Is it the mirror me? No. No, Mirror Janeway. Holy crap, and she's a Borg, Borgified. <laughs> Told ya. If you're finished gawking. Borgified mirror chain I don't want to be here any more than you do. Let's get this over with. 
Fourteen hours ago, I led a Terran strike force operation to Jupiter Station. Fourteen hours earlier, that's cool. Like a flashback. Oh, and this is ISS Voyager. All right, let's get started. And there's me. So I do play a part in this. The mirror me. Hey, and we're now me. Me, but in the mirror me. <laughs> this is really cool. I mean, this is kind of neat. Wow. And it's darker, too. I gotta say, I love the darker colors of this Voyager. I'm just looking at it visually. The darker colors complement this Voyager well. I'm not joking. It looks good. Uh, and I'm wearing a Terran uniform. That looks good. I got Kumarake, Kumarake here, I guess. Captain Tilly, Killy, Killy Tilly, Tilly Killy, and um, a Borgified Jane, Marshall. She's a Marshall, Marshall Janeway. Now she is using Seven of Nine's Borg implants. They're very similar visually to Seven of Nine. So is she like the mirror Seven of Nine here? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. The operation is about to commence. We've entered Federation space undetected, thanks to security codes obtained by Imperial agents. By the time we drop out of warp in the Sol system, it'll be too late for the defenders of Jupiter Station. So the Mirror Universe does have a Jupiter Station also, but I wonder what purpose it serves in this Mirror Universe. This plan is reckless, even for you, Marshall. We're not dealing with a legion of witless cyborgs here. And I'd rather not end up in a Starfleet prison for the rest of my days. Or, you know, dead. Your position is noted, Captain. Perhaps you'd like to voice your concerns to the Emperor? It is his plan, after all. No? Anyone? I didn't think so. Am I the Emperor? Fortune, as they say, favors the bold. If we succeed today, the favor of the Emperor will be ours. So, please. Summarize our mission objectives, Marshal. I'm the Inquisitor, and I've got a voice modulator. Very well, Inquisitor. Listen closely. Once we arrive at Jupiter Station, we'll offer them the chance to surrender. They may show their bellies without firing a shot. If not, we'll deal with them and board the station. We will find the Emperor's prize, secure it, and return to our universe. And the great reward that awaits us there. I'm so dumb. They're going to our universe to to, to uh, go to our Jupiter station, not the mirror un Jupiter station. Uh, right. It's about time. I could use a good fight. So I'm an inquisitor? In the 23rd century, battles aren't won with karate chops and smirks. Bloodthirst built the Empire. You'd be wise to remember that. It has served you well so far, Captain. Just kind of want to see who's in charge here. I guess they're just generic, generic people. Sure. If it gets in the way on our mission, I won't hesitate to put you down. Well, I have some abilities. I'm an agonizer, brain yeah, scramble. Yeah. Stop flirting with me. You'll Chains. make Marque blush. <clears throat> Ch Do chains of agony. Marshal Janeway does not suffer fools, and we are on her vessel. Hold on, uh, oh, in oh in crap! Grave. I think not, traitor. Enough of this. I've been in your shadow long enough. Cool. I like those abilities. I'm in. Aww, look at the mess you made. The marshal's gonna get cranky. Bravo! Well fought! Three cheers! Stop! Kamarke, we're not doing that! An assassination attempt! Before breakfast? Rude. Nice to see I'm not the only one who's tried to end you, Inquisitor. Unlike that idiot, I live to tell the tale. And hey, you got that sweet voice box out of the deal. Yes, you tried. And you failed. She tried to kill me. Fortunately for you. I'm a loyal servant of the Emperor. Because he wishes it, you're still standing. I wonder who the Emperor Can't is. Change. Well, a 
we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I didn't get to look Whoa. at these abilities. Target foe, see 621 electrical damage. Bounces up to four times, 5% chance on hit of phaser damage per second, 100% shield penetration. So basically an electrical damage kind of chaining event. And then the agonizer brain scramble. I've seen the agonizer on uh, in space before. I guess this is the ground version. I like that. And then what weapon am I using? I'm using just a phaser here. Phaser damage. Okay. Believe me, if we get to that bridge, I'll be the one blowing it up underneath you. But for now, the Emperor says we have to play nice, so this is me, playing nice. See you at Jupiter Station. Unless your yeoman puts a shiv in your back on the way. The Defiant is ready to receive you, Inquisitor. Step oh. onto the transporter pad when you're ready. Oh, being back to your ship. So I'm from the Defiant. It is really cool to play the mirror side of this. I like that a lot. It's unique. Okay, so we're on the Defiant. Oh, there's a whole bunch of uh, ships here. Or are they the good ships? I don't know which one's good or which one's bad. It's hard to tell. I think we're bad because of the red. That's us. Jupiter Station. I am Marshal Catherine Janeway of the Terran Empire. Surrender and your lives will be spared. So this is the battle after Resistance, the battle. As the saying goes. This is the battle we're about to have. Make the smart choice. I like how she used a Borg reference. This is the battle we're about. Oh, what ship? Oh, wait, I'm flying a different ship. Yeah, I'm not in my ship. I'm in the Defiant, apparently, now. Oh, I'm flying a Defiant, even though it's not a Defiant. Okay, weird. Request denied, Marshal. I'd advise you to surrender while you're still able to do so. That's the station commander. Okay. Predictable response, Marshal. I suggest we teach them the error of their ways. My crew and I stand ready to lead the charge. I think you got a little something brown on your nose there, Inquisitor. Enough. Inquisitor, the honor is yours. Teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Those who manage to survive, anyway. It shall be done in the Emperor's name. I have 17 cases of Romulan ale that say we're earning the most glory today. Destroy Let's system defense satellites. Fleet. Done. Good luck scoring even a single kill in that little bucket of ISS fire. Enterprise. We'll see ISS that. Voyager. ISS Riscava. Okay, so we're backed up by the ISS ships. <laughs> Whoa, I got quantum torpedoes going on here. Alright, well, they're pretty powerful. Very nice. So, I don't know what all that is. Some kind of um, Terran ability. Concentrate fire on the defense satellites. All integrity below seventy-five percent. Interesting that the station doesn't have any weapons. Enemy defense satellites have been eliminated. You killed a lot of good people out there. And for what? What the hell do you want? You'll find out soon enough, Commander. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. Cool, so they're giving me the, uh, like, quad... The quad phaser cannons on the Defiant and the uh, quantum torpedoes. F pretty, uh, pretty classic. Very nice. Marshal Janeway, I request a ceasefire to conduct rescue operations. He's stalling, buying time for reinforcements to arrive. The Empire doesn't negotiate with 
prey. Let's knock down their shields and take what we came here for. This insolence of yours is getting tiresome, Captain. Remember your place, or I will gut you like a fish and kick your carcass out of the nearest airlock. A defiant voyager. What is it, Inquisitor? We're reading several Starfleet vessels approaching at high warp, Marshal. They'll be here in moments. Battle stations. Fire to disable. If Starfleet is so concerned about rescue operations, let's give them something to rescue. It'll keep any more would-be reinforcements occupied. As you wish. Tactical. Fire to disable. Let's teach these Starfleet weaklings a lesson. Cool. That wasn't too bad. You won't get away with this. Whatever you're after. Called it. He needs to be broken or killed. I'm good either way. Very well. We'll disable the station. But I warn you. If the Emperor's prize is damaged or lost, I'll kill each of you myself. Slowly. An agonizer booth at maximum setting will feel like mercy by the time I'm done with you. Do I make myself clear? As Crystal Marshal, fire to disable only. There's a price for defying the Terran Empire, and I am here to collect. Tactical, concentrate fire on their habitat. Target shield has Not risk the loss of the Emperor's prize. All right. Well, it's disabled. Wonder what the prize is. I guess I've also filled some endeavors. <laughs> That's cool. All right. They're at our mercy. It's time to do what we came to do. Let's beam down to the station and take the Emperor's prize. What is the prize? What is it? What do they want? Prepare yourselves. We've got their backs to the wall, and something tells me they won't go down without a fight. As we planned then, two teams. Team one's objective is to disrupt their security systems through sabotage. Team two will gain access to critical systems and take control of them. Which one am I? Once that's done, we can use their transporters to beam directly to where the Emperor's prize is located and take it. Try not to get roughed up by a bunch of scientists and lab assistants. You do the same. Failure is not an option. Let's get moving, Inquisitor. So this is cool because we're actually on we're actually on board Jupiter Station. We get to see what the interior of it is like more than we did in Voyager, hopefully. This is cool. I love it because not a lot's been done with this station, but I'll talk about that more later. We, we've got intruders in the storage area. Repeat, intruders in the storage area. That didn't take long. They're here! Phasers on stun! Open fire! Phasers on stun, eh? Too bad ours are set to kill. Oh. Looks like this group has more fighting. Oh, I'm using a mirror universe so phaser angry, weapon. Geeks and nerds. Mirror universe nice. phaser, phaser rifle, I should say. almost hit me. I'm impressed. Pretty cool looking. Let's we'll see if we can explore a little. See where it will let us go and where it will not let us. And I guess that's everywhere. It won't let Here's us go anywhere. Here's where we park company. Get the job done, Team 2. We won't fail you. We won't fail you. Ugh. Let's go, Camargue. You know, when you're done kissing the marshal's backside. Unlock the door out of the promenade, then proceed to the security station on the deck. Try not to get killed by the angry nerds, Captain. Enough. Someone get these doors open. Right. Remember, these are sphere. This is it. cool. 
I mean, I would imagine there would be a promenade like this. Several decks. See from the top to bottom. You got different levels. This is a really cool design and a cool layout. And it makes sense. I like it. Got it. Ready when you are, Marshal. What's through these way these doors though? Anything through here? I guess nothing. I just like to check because you never know. And I guess Janeway is with me. Hey, I like the music too. You hear the music in the background when you're, when it was uh, amped up there, kind of like almost almost a little rockish. They're beaming in. Well, they They're sure are. To surrender now, and no harm will come to you. I took them down Security easily. Fields. Took them long enough. We need to keep moving. I'll reconfigure the isolinear chips here and shut down power to the fields. Nice. Lots of them. Kumarke and I are in position. Waiting on you, Marshal. Tick tock. Ah, there's the chaining effect. We're almost Very there. Very cool. Stand by. Commander, do not let them seize control of that station under any circumstances. I gotta say, these mirror universe powers are kinda cool. Get those bombs planted, Inquisitor. Enemy combatant in close proximity. On it. Cover me while I work. These, yeah, these mirror universe uh, kid abilities. The they're pretty neat. Not as many as you'll have if you don't stop distracting us. Enemy targets on I have a mirror universe character, and, um,. I want these abilities on on that character. Flanking damage detected. Charge is set. Get to a safe position. Move. Blew them all up. Nice kaboom! We intercepted their security protocol transfer. Kumarke is taking control as we speak. Good. Once you take their internal sensors offline, we can move undetected. For now, we've got the security fields. Sure, if you ask me nicely. Captain, you are on dangerously thin ice here. Lots of Get that security banter back and forth. Now. Inquisitor, there's a Jeffrey's tube nearby. We'll use it to go between decks. All right, all right, it's down. Go! She definitely, she knows a lot about this station. Watch out! Wonder how she knows so much about it. There's the Jeffrey's tube. Let's get climbing. Why'd they cancel Red Alert when there's still Terrans on board? Personal shield losing power. That's a mystery you'll never solve, I'm afraid. Oh, or is it? This is the transporter room. Take the lead. M maybe a future lead. mission will find out. Time travel? I don't Open know. Fire! Boy, those Starfleet weapons do a lot of damage right. to me. Beam us directly to the medical ward. So something in the medical ward, huh? Energizing. What's the holdup? We need to get out of here before Starfleet overruns our position. Starfleet's adapted their security protocols. We are locked out of the transporter controls. Time to go to Plan B. Meet us at the hub on Deck Seven. Janeway out. Get to the hub as fast as you can. Get to the hub, huh? 
I love running. Well, that's on fire. Stop. Tilly and her pet are a problem. Can I count on you if things go sideways? Of course, Marshal. Are we gonna have to fight Tilly? Commander, we've got more contacts incoming! Damn, we're in a tight spot. Let's fight our way to the others and regroup. Marshal? Inquisitor, how nice of you to join us. What took you so long? Did you stop to replicate some coffee? Well, I'm dead. <laughs> they killed me. Fighting now. Coffee later. Uh, I respond. I didn't mean to respond. I was going to do help me, but I respond instead. So, oh well. Go all the way back again. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, I've got a pretty high health and shield, but uh, the they're really hurting me bad. Clear for now, Time Marshall. to change things up a bit. Inquisitor, you and Tilly will get us access to the turbo lifts. Kumarke and I will focus on disabling the security lockouts. Once that's done, we should be able to get to the medical ward using turbo lifts. We'll rendezvous there. Understood. So, turbo lifts, huh? Yeah, this is cool. I like this design for the station. that the marshal pulled that little teen switch. What do you think she's up to? Maybe she's hoping we kill each other so she won't have to. This is Janeway. What's your status? About to take turbo lift control. Stand by. I guess Janeway is going to defect. That's why she's being all weird. And why she was talking with us at the beginning. I see why they gave us a hypo spray now. <laughs> they, uh, these Starfleet weapons do a lot of damage. Victory at last. Now what? Call Marshal Janeway. Inquisitor to Marshal Janeway. We've secured turbo lift control. Your orders. Hold your position, Inquisitor. Captain Kumarke tells me she needs about 15 seconds to finish cracking their security overrides. Acknowledged. So, did Grandma Janeway ask you to kill me? I mean, I I'd be insulted if she didn't. <laughs> Janeway here. We've done our part. Ball's in your court now, Inquisitor. Yeah, we'll get right on that, Marshal. Uh, unlock Turbulence, defend Captain Kelly, help Kelly circumvent system security. There's a countermeasure blocking me here. You need to reroute through that console. Reroute complete. Starting on the second lockout. Cover me! Flanking damage detected. Personal shield losing power. I need you on that console, Inquisitor. Try it now. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. Flanking damage detected. Personal shield losing power. Oh. 
Yeah, Got that it. music that music Turbo is lift control is restored. That music is pretty amped up. Nice work. We have turbo lift access here. Proceed with the plan. Kumarke and I will meet you at the objective. We're on our way. Janeway will convince Kumarke to betray me. That seems unlikely. Your pet is very loyal. I don't know where she's trying to go. This is the way we need to go, it says. Seize control of medical ward. What are you even here for? You aren't working for the marshal. I work for the emperor. Uh huh. It still doesn't tell me why you're here. To make sure the job gets done. That voice is really throwing me off. It's really <laughs> crazy. So, what's so important about the Emperor's prize, anyway? Ask the Emperor. I'm sure he'd love explaining himself to you. Wow. <laughs> Stick with your day job, Inquisitor. Comedy is not your story. <laughs> the joke will be on us if we don't stay focused. Mind if we cut in? Okay, cool. So this is the medical part. And there's Janeway. Cool. I'm real interested to see what this thing is. Beginning decontamination sweep. Isolation ward, huh? Ooh, I like the purple. Clear the medical ward. This ends now, Terrans. It's over. You're right, Commander. It is over. For you. There is no way I'm letting you take... Ah! <laughs> One There's... for emergency transport! There's no way I'm letting you take... Ah! Take... Ah! I did that terribly, but you get Threat the idea. neutralized. The prize is ours for the taking, Marshal. What's the prize? Inquisitor, if you would do the honors and open the door. I will, but just a second. I want to see what's around here. This is a cool looking medical bay. I like the looks of it. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. What the heck is it? Stasis chamber. It's... No way. Ilea? Ile 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 I expected someone more impressive. Ilea. Let's Ilea. get this over with. I can't. Yeah. It's one let's of those. Do that. Ilea. I did not honest, expect that. I didn't think you'd make it this far. That's and really you off now. like You've a had throwback. the Emperor's favor long enough. It's our time for glory now. We'll have to discuss this. Really? Well then. So she's going to defect. Oh, the, bo the what? what? The Borg? If you want to kill the Queen, you need to deal with her pawns. The Queen is the Emperor. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm having. You're not as loyal as you led me to believe, Inquisitor. I have to defeat. J oh, uh, what? Not, e uh, eat. Nothing personal. Uh, I, I'm speechless at the moment. Lot more than Romulan ale. Perhaps we should gloat after the battle is won. Uh, these are like classic what board kind of too. Sort of invulnerability shield. She's attack. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. She's 
She has definite adapted. Borg. Eliminate Borg she's drones to make her vulnerable. She's adapted. She's a she's got Borg powers. These are like what kind of clones drones are these? They're all Now's our chance. They Open all have this fire. they're all the same person. They're like cloned drones. So uh, I she's adapted. I'm, Eliminate Borg drones. She's adapted. Maybe that's why I have a melee. I got a Terran knife. Ooh, I could melee her. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. Mm. Hey, well, it's working. She's adapted. Eliminate Borg drones to make her vulnerable. They're all the same, which is weird. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. Mark my words, traitors. You will burn for this. Traitors. She calls us traitors, but she's the one who traded against us. I'm... Uh... Oh, I, Give the uh, old girl credit. Making a Borg army out of the Starfleet goons we dropped along the way was a solid move. Oh, she was assimilating the crew of the station. That's why. Okay, I get that. But still, they did all look like the same person. Ingenious. Let's hope she's not making more as we speak. If she is, they'll be Starfleet's problem, not ours. If the Marshal survives, she'll be stuck here. Shouldn't be too bad. I hear Federation prisoners are soft and comfy. A fate worse than death for a Terran like the Marshal. Yeah, that's her problem, not ours. Get the transporter beacon on the Emperor's Prize so we can beam her out of here. Take the Emperor's Prize, then beam back to your ship. Right, let's get the prize and ourselves out of here. Okay, I, I got questions. I have lots of questions. This is Ilea from Star Trek uh, 1, the motion picture. Um, is the Borg Queen the Emperor? What? I, I have questions. I need answers. This is, this is an enthralling storyline. An enthralling storyline. The Emperor's prize is ours. Let's beam up and get back to our universe. And wait, this is in our universe, or our the right universe, the prime universe. This is where I'm from. This is not the mirror. So the rest, as they say, we is kept. History. Let's discuss how Ilya. we resolve this fine little mess, preferably over some coffee. And so she's on our side. I I'm think that could be arranged. And why would the Emperor want? the the um the probe the um the V'ger probe because that's basically what Ilea is is the V'ger probe now she's an android so now we know who the Terrans were after what we still don't know is why perhaps you can shed some light on that Marshal yes why that information is above even my pay grade Admiral only the Emperor knows, and he isn't one to share such secrets willingly. I suspect you know more about the Emperor's prize than I do. What's so special about that Yeah, woman? we know about her. We know she's one of ours. Lieutenant Ilea, Ilea a Delta I navigator right. assigned to the Enterprise in the late 23rd century. Until recently, she was listed as missing in action after an incident involving a powerful entity in deep space. Why was she on Jupiter Station? Recently, she teleported into a Starfleet research station in the Epsilon Sector and promptly collapsed. She's been comatose ever since. She was transferred to Jupiter Station for medical care due to her unique physiology. Uh, am I being a bit more specific? Baldness isn't exactly a unique biological trait, especially for Deltans. According to the researchers on Jupiter Station, Ilea is a hybrid, right. a fusion of biological and artificial life. Very advanced artificial life. 
The research team could barely comprehend the nature of her artificial components. One of them told me it made a Sung type android look crude by comparison. Well, I don't know how a bald cyborg factors into making the Emperor's ultimate weapon. Right, I don't either. tend to have plans within plans. Maybe he wants this Ilea to serve as a prototype for some new type of super soldier. Sure. I don't care what he wants. It's our job to stop him and bring Ilea back. So, we need a plan, and we need it fast. You'll have it. Um, speak with Marshal Janeway. By now. Tilly and her cohorts will have returned the Emperor's prize to Terran space dock in our universe. You'll want to move fast and be ready for the fight of your life if you want to bring her back. Mm, are we going to have a problem there, Marshal? Let me be clear. This is an enemy of my enemy situation. I mean to get revenge on Tilly and her lackeys. And working with you will help me accomplish that goal. I see no reason to complicate matters. Do you? Mm, then no. it sounds like we have an understanding. <laughs> now let's get to it. Are we going to do that big battle now? <laughs> well, well. It looks like my recent work with Starfleet on training scenarios has paid off. Never thought you'd have the guts to try anything like that, but <laughs> what can I say? You're just full of surprises. Uh, thank you. Will you be joining the operation? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my kind of crazy. I would miss it for the world. And if my All help right. isn't enough, you have two Janeways working on this. <laughs> I can't wait to see what those crazy old birds come up with. <laughs> Especially after a few pots of coffee. Yeah, it certainly will be interesting. Yeah, especially uh, with some coffee. We took some serious hits here today, but they've had their inning. Now it's our turn at bat. Starfleet will put their best and brightest to work on the rescue operation. I've been assured that our allies in the Alliance will do the same. Working together, we survive the Iconian War. We can deal with this Terran incursion as well. Indeed. One for certain. Starfleet needs to improve the defenses here at Jupiter Station. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I have a few ideas on that. But for now, Ilea is our top priority. Agreed. Being back to my ship. Wow. 14 hours earlier. Captain's log, supplemental. We have the Emperor's prize at last. With Janeway out of the picture, the glory is ours alone. We will learn the secrets of the Emperor's Prize, by any means necessary. Kumarke to bridge. We're ready to begin. Ominous. Uh, and to be continued. So the big battle will be, I guess, in the next mission or so. This feels like an actual series I'm watching. I mean, there's like, there's like, st what is going on with the sun? The sun is freaking out. This is, this, 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 this is good. This is good. I like this. All right. The Terrans continue to perplex me. They went to a lot of trouble to kidnap Ilea, despite the incredible risk. It just doesn't add up. Something tells me that the Terran Emperor's plans involve a lot more than kidnapping. Yes, and we get a, a Terran exocomp kit reward. We'll see what that's about. Because that wasn't in the mission. I thought we were going to like have to use an exocomp in the mission. But no, that was uh, there was no exocomp. So I'm going to check that out. Let's go back to Earth. And let's discuss this mission. Do a review on it. Because I have a lot to say about this. This is... My mind is going in circles. And I don't know... Where it's headed. Let's go dock, let's go down to ESD here, and uh, we'll discuss this. Well, before we discuss this, let's see if we can... Universal Kit Module, Liberated Tarot Exocomp Fabrication, Liberated Tarot Exocomp Fabrication. It beams in three Terran Exocomps, one of each career type, English Science and Tech. Summons three Exocomps and Science tech science for 20 seconds the engineering exocomp capabilities that has fuvis armor 
single target root, stun, electrical damage. The science exocomp has sonic disruption, PBAOE stun, knock slow. The tactical exocomp can fire on my mark and damage resistance debuff. Only 20 seconds though, kind of limited, just like the uh, in the last reward we got those uh, turrets, which are very powerful, but they are very limited in how short they can be used. I want to try this out though. We need to go to a place where I can try this out. So we need to go to a we need to go to a mission here. Cuz I want to see what this is all about. Give me a quick mission. What is a quick mission I can kill some people? I just want something I can beam right down to and like kill some people. Oh, I know. We can do, uh... This one. We'll do this big... We're not going to do the whole mission, but I'm going to go here real quick, and I just want to see how the exocomps work. I do want to do a full review on this mission, so or on the mission I just played, so hang tight. Um, stay to the end of the video. So you can hear what I have to say, but I just want to see what these exocomps look like real quick. And we gotta take out these things. Warning. Ship is under attack. Let me get this fear down and then we'll go to the ground and see what these exocomps do. Okay, let's go to the ground and see what these exocomps are all about. I'm going to put my bridge officers on passive. Okay. There's the exocomps. Let's go to some Borg up here. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. They are doing stuff. To the Borg. But they don't last long. One of them got, two of them got destroyed. Okay, well that's cool. I've seen them. Alright, let's uh, take a stand over here and talk about this mission. So, uh, we just played Redshift. And I have to say, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. This is my full review of Redshift. Um, I enjoyed that. It feels like I'm playing a series. I'm playing a TV series. I'm playing a show. Or I'm watching a show. I'm watching Star Trek on TV again. There is a coherent storyline. And I can see the beginnings. We're in the middle of it now. Maybe we'll come to the end soon. But this Terran storyline is really, really compelling. First of all, we have a lot of threads going on that are like whoa moments, right? We have Tilly coming over to our side from the Mirror Universe. Now we have the Marshal Janeway coming over from the Mirror Universe, and she is Borgified uh, and has some connection with the Emperor. Perhaps the Emperor is the Borg Queen, or in the Mirror Universe, the Borg King. Um... That's interesting, or could be interesting. Janeway is able to make drones. That's interesting. Um, and then, on top of that, 
The Emperor, for some reason, has interest with Ilea, somebody I never thought we'd see in this game because her story in the movies was played out. She, um... So, I mean, you, if you've never seen Star Trek 1, this is an obvious spoiler. Star Trek movie, I Star Trek 1. Star Trek the movie, the motion picture, I should say. If you've never seen the motion picture Star Trek, then this is going to be a spoiler or you're not going to know who Ilea is. But obviously, we know that Ilea was a real person. V'ger took her, basically killed her, copied and took her biologics her mind, her brain, whatever, implanted it into like an android body, but a really advanced one, so advanced that I guess it's beyond soon type androids. And in a way it is Ilea, but an android version of her. It was a very advanced, it was very cool, and that was that was a thing on its own. She's a probe, she was trying to see what's going on on the ship and why why Enterprise needed uh, biological components, because obviously V'ger was an AI. But she, quote, died or was, I guess, officially missing is, is what they did at the end because her and Decker went into V'ger in some kind of weird metamorphosis, changed into energy beings, went from, like, physical beings into energy beings, joining with V'ger and birthing a new AI consciousness, Right? Um, and then, of course, she was gone because her physical body was gone. Both her physical bodies were gone. They were merged into an energy being. But she's back. Here, Janeway says, she appeared in, on one of their Epsilon stations for no reason. Just, boom, appeared and uh, went into a coma. But she is still, this is the android version. So what, did she, like, come back into human form? Did she descend from being an energy being and come back into a human form? Is it a combination of her and Decker? Or is it just her? Is it also maybe a, a her her and V'ger and Decker? Maybe a combination of all three? And I mean, who knows? Maybe all three can't live in the same body? I, so many possibilities are there just with her being back, number one. But then number two, why does the Emperor want her? What would he do? He's, if he's already a Borg, they got that. What, they, they, what do they need with Ilea? Unless they are trying to connect V'ger and the Borg. I think they've wanted to do that, or tried to do that in the game anyway. But by saying one of those big Borg ships is V'ger, or was V'ger, or an early incarnation anyway of the Borg, I don't buy that storyline. I think it's uninteresting. There are other variations of the origin of the Borg in, in Star Trek books that I like better. I don't like the idea that V'ger was the Borg. I think that's kind of lazy. Um, I like V'ger being its own thing. So, you know, canon in the TV show does not connect them at all. So uh, right now we have to go with that. That, But in the game, they can kind of have flexibility to do what they want. So they could go that route in the game. I mean, that would just simply be a game thing, not a in canon TV show thing but anyway we're kind of getting off track there but uh, that's the only reason why I could see the Emperor if the Emperor is a Borg and Ilea has like V'ger's memories and knowledge and information that could be why the Emperor would want Ilea because she would have that information about V'ger and if V'ger is like an early, early incarnation of the Borg or something then that it could be why the Emperor would want it. I could see that connection for the game. Again, I don't I don't like that connection. That's not the way I would go if this were on TV. I'd, and in fact, they have it on TV. That's not the way I'd do it. But for the game, it is a compelling storyline for the game. So I'll give, I'll give the game credit there for an interesting storyline. I'd like to see where this goes. And it sounds like they're saving the big battle, the big rescue, whatever, in the next the next episode we play, the next mission. Or maybe the next one. I don't know how long this series is going to be. It's called Terran Gambit. But I don't know how long they're going to make it. Or how many missions they're going to make it. Is it just going to be a three mission series? Or is it going to be longer than three? If we go back and look at the last one. The Klingon Civil War. Uh, they actually did a lot for that one. They had the Center Cannot Hold. And they had Kittimer Discord. So they had one, two, three, 
Oh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They had seven big missions for Klingon Civil War. Jula's Discovery was also one, two, three, four, five, six, and then those patrols, and then the two big parter at the end, so seven, eight. So if they only do three missions for Terran Gambit, that would be pretty small. So I don't know if they're going to do more than three or not. I don't know. We're at least going to get another one, but I don't know if we're going to get another one after that. This could be a short series. But at any point, it is interesting and compelling, and so I'm going to give them an A-plus for the story. This is going in directions I did not see coming, and that is good. It's fresh, fresh story. Again, free-to-play fresh story that you can get in Star Trek Online. Free-to-play don't have to spend a dime to get this story content and it feels very Star Trek very Star Trek and I like that I want I would like to see this on TV imagine if this was discovery you know imagine if this was what we were getting in real life and this also makes me feel like I would love to have had more mirror universe shows uh, in fact they were going to do more mirror universe stuff in the final in the in season five of uh, Enterprise if it had gone on and I think that would have been great. I really do. I think having like m mirror universe mi uh, stories on TV would have would have been would have been nice uh, They did I know they did with discovery, but it was kind of weird. So eh, Didn't quite feel Right But anyway, yeah mirror universe stuff is, is compelling. It's interesting and there's canon for that. So It's cool stuff. All right. Well, I'm going on long enough here this was fun. Redshift was fun. I need to play the TFO. I'm going to do that. I'm guessing it's like the space battle portion of this mission. That's just a guess. Haven't played it. We'll play it soon. Stay tuned for that video. Uh, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and hit the bell notification if you like this and you want to see more. Uh, thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of this mission, Redshift. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next one.